Hello kids. In the previous video, we looked at the ICC board question paper pattern. Today we are focusing on a word, one particular question that is question number two in that subsection two. This one called as logical sequence question. So what exactly is a logical sequence question? I have taken out the sample question paper cut out so that you understand this question properly. It says you will be given a set of terms. Here in the sample question paper, there are only four terms and one is a fixed term. Till last year, you used to have up to five terms. So this is a good thing for you. So what is it is four terms are given to you in that one term they have fixed. So that is an underlined term. From the underlined term, you are supposed to arrange the other three terms in a particular sequence. So what is a sequence? depends on the terms given. Now, first question, look at it. It says soil water, you have xylem, root hair, cortex. So, from the moment you see this, you should have this picture in your mind, which is this one. What is this picture? This is your textbook picture itself. Have a look at this picture. What does it say? Soil water. From soil, water goes where? It goes to the root hair. So, that's the next term. From the root hair, where does water go? It has to reach the pit towards the uh, core, towards the xylem it has to reach. But does it directly go to xylem? No. It passes through the cortical cells or the cortex. So, that's the next term. So, first term it is fixed by them. By underlining it is soil water. Second term is root hair. Third term is cortex. And fourth term is xylem. Same way, let, let us look at the next question. Tympanum, incus, malleus, stapes. So, let's again take out the pictures for, for us to understand better. So, what is tympanum, children? Tympanum means your eardrum. Right? That much you know. So, from the pinna which you see outside your ear, there is a tiny canal going called ear canal. It reaches the eardrum or the tympanum. From there, there are three set of bones, right? You know the sequence of the names of the bones, right? What are they? What are the names of the bones? The bones are malleus, incus and stapes. This you have learned from the diagram also, from your knowledge also. So, you are just writing that in the sequence. So, we will just number it. This is already fixed. Malleus, incurs and stapes. Done. The first one also let us number. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here there are only 4 terms. So it is very easy for you to label. Next question. Pulmonary vein, left ventricle, iota, left auricle. So how do we, how do, we do this? Let us draw our heart in the shape of a rectangle. So that. We can easily label it. So, you know, upper chambers are called as auricles. Uh, below chambers are called as ventricles. This much you know. And this side is the F side. And this side is the right side. On the left side is the oxygenated blood coming in. That much also you know. Right? Always left side, oxygenated blood. Why am I saying all this? Because we have a first term fixed which is pulmonary vein. So, pulmonary means what? Pulmonary always means lungs. Okay? So, from the lungs, if blood is coming in, how to know whether it is coming in or not? So, you know the rule. Whenever you write vein, I-N, it means that uh, the blood is coming into the heart. Into the heart. And A for Artery is A and away from the heart. So, whenever some uh, blood vessel is coming in, it will be a vein either way from the side or the side. If it's coming in, it's a vein. If it's going away, it's a artery. Okay. The name of the artery here is iota. This much, these uh, knowledge you should already have. Only then you can answer these questions. Okay. So coming to Pulmonary vein. 
pulmonary is lungs from the lungs blood is coming in so therefore it has to be oxygenated blood so left side right so from the left side pulmonary vein is coming here so where should this blood reach it should definitely reach the left auricle so that's the second term number 1 number 2 from auricle it should go to the ventricle so left ventricle then comes aorta which brings which takes it away from the heart to the cells right so that's the fourth term okay next question sperm urethra sperm duct and epididymis very easy if you know the concept sperm is not sperm is produced where let's have a look at the picture sperm picture is here your testis is here that where is sperm produced over here right from there sperm is produced and where, where does it go it goes to the cap what is the name of the cap epididymis so one two then it goes into the vas deferens also called as the sperm duct then it goes and joins on to the urethra here okay last question aqueous humor optic nerve retina lens okay for that we should know the diagram properly definitely what is the diagram of it's a diagram of cross section of the eye here is your aqueous humor that you know number 1 they have already fixed it where does light go after that it goes into lens then to the vitreous humor but the term is not given here so what's the next term it goes on to the innermost layer of your eye called as the retina retina from retina it should go to the optic nerve so this is how you do logical sequence question these questions that i have taken are from the sample question paper given from here you must have if you have noticed something you will know all these are diagrams which are already there in your textbook in the uh, diagram of heart is also there i didn't get a good picture so i just do it myself okay so i'm going to give you a set of questions right now i want you to answer each of them in the comment box okay let's let's do that 